Welcome back, everyone. I'm Shinigami Tabris, and boy, do I have a wonderful tale for you for, because of this weekend. Uh, not to mention a bunch of other things. Uh, we're going to be sailing the seas with our good friend, Corb. Um, but yeah. Uh, you there, buddy? Yep, yep. Okay. So, um... If you hadn't noticed, uh, I've been away from uh, the stream for the past couple of days. Um, Saturday, I had hockey. Uh, Sunday, I had hockey. Uh, and Saturday, I also didn't feel that great after. Uh, there was just, it was one of those days of like things just did not go well for me. Uh, and then today, so last night's hockey wasn't that bad. Uh, I, I have a pretty decent story for it but like we'll save that for later um we're gonna start with today's story because today's is the best uh preference this with hockey ended at 11 30 last night which means i got home at 12 30 didn't get to bed till uh close to two had to be up and at my parents house at the wonderful time of 8 in the morning, uh, which means I'm up, uh, I think I got up at like 7.15 to make that trip. So yeah. Um, top it off with the two places I can stop on the way for my parents to get possible breakfast were both wrapped around the building twice, not once, twice. Uh, in drive through Uh, so yeah, I got no breakfast. Uh, get to my parents' house. And this is also, uh, the reason I go to my parents is Sunday, before I head to hockey, my dad calls me and he goes, you know how I bought a new mattress? I was like, yeah. Uh, they're gonna deliver it Monday morning. I need your help since, uh, I just had surgery. By the way, my dad just had a pacemaker installed. Uh, that was Friday. Uh, he's doing good. That's about the best I can say about it. Uh, but because he had the pacemaker installed, his arm, he's not allowed to, to move his arm. Hey, Young Leisure, how you doing? Uh, so his left arm is like pinned to... He ain't allowed to do shit. Yeah, he's not allowed to he's not allowed to pick up more than five pounds uh for the next six weeks. And what does he need help doing? Because they will not move the said old mattress is move the old mattress, which is not like any small mattress that you would imagine. It is a California King mattress. This is a hellacious fucking size of a mattress. And it is ridiculous in weight, does not move, it's like a big ball of bullshit. Because was it a pillow top, or was it like a... Old Spring. As in, I think it's the same mattress from when they, like, first got married. 40-something years ago. I know it's not, but it like it seems like it because of how long it's been there. Um. Anyways. Yeah. By the way, there's a guy in to the east as an emissary flag. Uh, I opted. Yeah, I opted for an emissary. If you wanna, uh, hold on. Let me see what is there a reaper out here. Oh, never mind. Don't throw up an emissary. There is a Reaper 5 out there. I can put a target on her back. Sure you don't want to do that? Yeah, no. Positive? Jesus, I'm glad I looked. But, um, anyways. So I go to help him with moving this, um mattress said those fuckers wouldn't help you at all <clears throat> oh it gets better they charge money for it your point uh 
Hmm. Destroy my life. Pay a few bucks. Ah. So, here's the kicker, though. The mattress that they're getting... My, my parents are getting one of those mattresses that... Um, you're surprised I'm not playing Halo. I didn't realize that Halo was going on until, like, a few minutes ago. And the reason I didn't know that is because of this wonderful story <laughs> of my ruined life today. Um... No, I literally just found out like 45 minutes ago myself, Leisure, so he, he found out whenever we first started talking. Um, so, uh, they got one of the new mattresses that lifts their head up and down and like also their legs, like it, it's mobile. Um, so, mattress and box spring. Yes. So... The new mattress in Brock Spring sits lower than their old one. And so everything that was under the bed had to be cleaned out. They are yes. like your typical older generation with like a crap ton under that bed. And I do mean a crap ton. Um, the thing is, is they had informed my sister that they would need help moving all the shit um, and she had made plans to do it this Friday. She had already made plans to take the day off to do it this Friday. Uh, because that was when it was supposed to be delivered, not today. But of course, it gets delivered today, and guess who has to go? Because, uh, yeah. So, I go out to help clean and all the other fun stuff and uh the new mattress guys get there and they deliver the mattress and you know that all goes by pretty uneventfully uh other than the fact that i'm like dying because i can't breathe because of pet dander and a bunch of other stuff because you know you're crawling under a bed that's not been moved in i think it's like 30 something years just dying from old spots, fucking dander, you know? Yep. And this is like Mima's old dog that died fucking 30 years ago. Yep. That's. <laughs> you, you, you've nailed it. You've nailed it. Um. So, we, uh. We get the new, the new mattress in. It, it is a pain in the ass. But after the guys install the new mattress, and they did end up helping us take the mattress outside, um, because I couldn't get it out of the house. I could just get it into the hallway by myself. And it was one of those for them to get it past, uh, to get it into the room. They had to, uh, move the old one. Um... My dad was upset because they wouldn't haul it off for him. Uh, but like, I get it. They they had um, they have they have policies that basically, if the bed looks like it's ever had any type of bodily fluid on it, aka a dog could pee on it, uh, and that's exactly what had happened: is a dog had peed on it. <laughs> uh, they can't take it. And when I say a dog peed on it, I mean, like, recently the dog, uh, my dad's dog peed on the, the bed. And I was just like, what, why, what, well, uh, but anyways. Um, are you going to vote on this mission? Nope. Nope. So, as I'm helping, like, do finish up work. So the bed has been installed, but it's catching on some... All, uh, some of the hardware that is attached to the um, uh, frame. So we're going to... I'm removing old hardware from the frame so that the bed can lift up and down without any issue. My mother calls. And we're going to preface this with my mother is currently in the hospital uh, with... Um, she has too much ammonia buildup in her body. And uh, the that causes her to have dizziness and um, 
not be able to stand properly. It also causes like some issues with like being able to concentrate properly and all this other stuff. It's part of the reason my mom's crazy. I love my mother to death. She's crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> part of the reason I'm crazy, all... but that's beside the point. <laughs> I say, aren't we all though? Yeah, exactly. Um, but my mother calls from the hospital to like give my dad an update. Which ensues on the wonderful thing of uh, the doctor, uh, because she's not walking properly and a bunch of other stuff, and she's been having issues of walking um, because of the ammonia and whatnot for a while, uh, they want to send her to rehab. Uh, but it's a, it's a facility, and she doesn't really want to go. And my dad and her have a wonderful uh, argument discussion over the phone that I get to listen to where he's telling her you know you need to do what's best for you and she straight up just hangs up on him so then he's like trying to talk to me about the fact that like what do I do like she doesn't want to listen and I'm like I don't want any part of this shit <sighs> Uh, and, and it gets into full, like, there, I, I can actually, like, recite the whole conversation verbatim, but my favorite part, my absolute favorite part, was when she did hang up on him, he goes, I think we got disconnected, and I'm sitting there, like, with a screwdriver in my hand, like, trying to remove this, like, piece of the, the bed, and I go, no, Dad, I think she hung up on him. No, no, we got disconnected. He calls her back, she answers the phone, and she's, what? Uh, I think we got disconnected. No. Did you hang up on me? Yes. No, this is <laughs> the, this is not the island. That was, that was the, and, and, but he was like, ah, uh, And I was like, yep, I called it. I'm just gonna, like, keep my head down and, like, keep it working. Uh, they go through their little thing that's when she you know they there's more there's more of a tiff um the day continues i get to listen to this for the next like two and a half hours as i'm helping clean up and i'm also gonna put this out there my mother is a pack rat and i do mean like she keeps she she's a she does crafts for she used to do them for a living like she actually made a lot of money doing like paintings and stuff like that there are tons of things that like oh i'm gonna turn that into like whatever uh it's garbage it needs to be garbage uh you've not done crafts in six years because of medical problems it needs Dude, to be thrown this away might, this might be further uh southeast than we think I think it is. I was trying to avoid... There was a, a galley that was rolling. Yeah, I saw it. Um, so, like, I'm doing the thing that me and my sister have talked about doing, like, a hundred times. And that's, uh, throwing shit away that we know needs to be thrown away, but we can't do in front of our mother because she goes, But I can use that for this! Mother, it's... You know, X. Uh, key, key thing is like these weird... She, and I've seen her do them before. She makes these nifty little jugs out of like old planter peanut stuff. That like have designs on them that she's hand painted and all. They look really cool. She's got a hundred and something planter peanut jugs. They just need to be thrown away. Or uh... Well, you, Mom, you're gonna buy more. Just, just, just... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly... Um, <laughs> Are you going to paint all 79,000 of them? No. Okay, then throw some away, because they're glass, they're annoying, and shut the fuck up. They're not even glass. They're like the old... They're, they're the, the, the plastic. They're plastic. Yeah. That's if they, so were, if they were the old glass ones, it'd be even like, okay, maybe. Because they don't make the glass ones anymore, really. But like... Hey, hey it, it's this one right here. Is it? It's starting to, it's starting to wiggle a bit. Oh, you. 
Um, so I'm doing all of that, and like I said, I'm getting to listen to my family do this like thing about oh well we've got this issue we you know, and it's always the same issue about her. She doesn't really want to go to the rehab center because it's it's basically like going to an old folks home. Um, but uh. My dad, my dad isn't like, oh, I want you, I want you to go to that. My dad is, I want you to do what will make you better. Like, I want you to get better. And for you to get better, that might mean going to said place. Even though you don't want to. You know? Oh, yeah. But, um... So, yeah. So, my dad, uh... He's going through his hoopla on that. My mother's upset with him because she doesn't want to go, but... You know. So she had your typical toddler tantrum? Yeah. Nice. Um, and then we top it all off with, uh, my sister had called me on the way to my parents this morning, and I'm leaving that part out till now for a reason. Uh, I finally finished, like, cleaning the house and getting things ready and having the house ready for my dad to, like, use the bed properly at around 11.45, 12 o'clock. I've been there from 8 till then uh, working on... Oh, shit. Um... But, uh, so, I did have this wonderful talk with my father about what my sister had told me about the, uh, on the way over to their house. Oh my god, that's the best map piece ever. Yes! Um, and that is, my sister informed me so, my grandmother passed away back a couple of years ago, but her second husband didn't pass away till last year. And... Is this game dope like that? What do you mean? Whoop. Boom, boom. This game is dope. Yeah, I love this game. This game is one of my favorites. If you can play Sea of Thieves. Oh yeah, dude. Sea of Thieves is wonderful at leisure. That's the reason you see us playing it so often. Is like it it's Um It's fun to be a pirate. Yeah. Take everything at it... You take a look back at our stream where we fucking rock a galley. Yeah. <laughs> like, last time we streamed, we had, or not not last time, the time before that, we uh, were on a galley with some friends, and, like, we, uh, there's a lot of, like, ship-on-ship -ship combat. It was fun. We get sung. We had a ton of shit. We barely had any supplies, and then we go back and rock them back and fucking get our shit back. It's those wonderful types of stories that uh, make you feel wonderful and happy inside. Oh yeah, it's like that redemption, it's that Cinderella story that just... Oh. You know, we, we kind of had a feeling we were going to get that back, but you know... I don't ever expect it, because you know, you expect it and you're going to get your ass stomped in again. Um, this Was is that it. it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Pull us again. There we go. Um, so did it. And I was like, I bet you that's it. Anyways, uh, so my parent, uh, when my my grandmother's second husband passed, um, his stepson who inherited everything felt bad because he legit like screwed us out of our inheritance because he forced my grandmother not to have a will which meant he got everything we got nothing and like stuff that was ours he almost like my mother had sewing machines over there that she had left because they were working on stuff when my grandmother passed he didn't want to give her those and it's like they have our name like etched into them what? oh yeah dude was like my step grandfather was an ass um well the stepson of him uh because he'd been married like three times uh felt bad and wanted to give us part of our inheritance back aka i'm willing to sell it like i want to sell your grandmother's house because i don't want it anymore um i want nothing to do with it uh and you can have like a portion of the money not to mention i don't want to pay the mortgage that's on it and all this other stuff well that's pretty, that's pretty much the only reason yeah well my dad and them were talking and it was one of those that like the mortgage hadn't been paid in a while after he had passed because they didn't get everything set up properly and um the house was about to be foreclosed on oh, so you gave no fucks about it yeah and we made a de uh, they made a verbal agreement my family and the gentleman that technically owned the house uh via will that um if we took over the payments and paid off the rest of the mortgage we could have the house okay uh i found out through my sister that uh the gentleman that owns the that inherited the house is trying to rent the house out uh play landlord yep without permission of the landowner uh well since well, he's, he's he's technically the landowner but yeah um but here's here's the fun part about this is he even talked to my parents about hey like i want to rent it out uh i have people that are willing to rent it from me or you um will you rent it and they were like yeah we don't mind renting it and my dad kept trying to get my mother to talk to him and set like a price but my mother because it is technically her house uh, my mother refused to talk to him for whatever reason other than my mother like like I said my mother went through this weird loopy phase and it's part of it is the ammonia build up of her not wanting to do anything that she's supposed to be doing she wouldn't make phone calls she wouldn't do anything so he told the guy that was interested well you can rent the house for $350 a month the house is bigger than the house I currently live in, and we rent this say, thing. Is it a piece of trash? No. And the house that I currently live in, we used to rent for 700 a month. I was going to say, you can rent a cardboard box for $300 a month. Oh, I know. I know. Um, so I've already made the statement like dad you're gonna have to get involved in this and you're gonna have to put your foot down of like it is not 350 a month it's gonna be like five to seven hundred easily 
It's on paper. It's too late. Well, here's the thing. It's not on paper. Okay. Yet. Um. I, I think you you need to step in and be land manager on that. Oh, I'm about to be. I'm about to be yeah, because. I, I was gonna say because, because you, know, you can't even trust you can't even trust your dad on that. But. Well, here's the big kicker to this one. This is this is here comes the big hoopla that that, that I was you. Come to find out. They keep spawning over here. My parents never got a written notice that he was going to give them the house. They've made the last like six months uh, mortgage payments. You're kidding me. It gets better. They write the check out to the bank that the uh, mortgage is with. And then, and then, and then, don't write it out to cash. No, they give it to the bank. They write it to that bank. Uh, and then they hand it to the gentleman that inherited the house. And, and he hands it to the bank. Yep. Which we don't know what he's doing with, whether he's actually paying the mortgage or not. Uh, right. but he refuses to give my parents the account information. <clears throat> Nope, 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 nope. So, nope, nope. I put my foot down on my with my father, uh, and this is, you know, lunchtime. I'm tired. I've been working my ass off. I can't breathe because, like, everything is stuffy as all get out. And I go, Dad, what is this about? I hear, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, oh, uh... Yeah, we're going to talk to a lawyer about that, like, at the beginning of the year. I'm like, well, I'm going to tell you right now. If I find out that you write him another check, you know how, like, mom's going to a home right now? You'll be joining her. And he was, do what? And I'm like, I, me and my sister will, we, we will both agree to put you in to the home. And, um, on the fact that, like, you have lost your judgment. Yeah, he's not of sound mind. Uh, and he goes, well, what are we supposed to do about the mortgage? I'm like, well, there's two things we can do. First off, you get the gentleman to sign a thing saying that he will give you the house and land. And all it has to, it doesn't have to be a full legal, like, document. Uh, it... All it has to be is I so and so hereby bequeath the land and deed of so and so area to my father's name, uh, sign date, sign date, and witness date. You know? Simple, yeah. easy peasy. It will hold up in court if you go to court over it. Then I don't mind if you hand him another check. Uh, and then see a lawyer about getting all the like proper paperwork to get everything changed into your name. Uh, but what I really want you to do is not give him jack shit. If we do end up getting all the paperwork done via a lawyer properly, uh, we will pay one month of late fees to, uh, so that we know for a fact we have the house. Um, I would say I want receipts for the previous month's payments, too. Yeah. And then have you try and get your dad to pull up his statement, his bank statements. Yeah. Show the checks. And be like, show me these checks paying this mortgage now. Yeah. But, um... It is definitely one of those, like, the fuck am I having to really deal with right now, for the love of God. Uh, but I've also told him, you need to call the gentleman tomorrow and tell him 350 is not enough. I don't care. And he goes, but, like, it's technically your mom, and, like, her. he talks to your mother's sister, and I'm like, I don't give two flying fucks if my aunt finds out that, like, we're burning, uh millions of dollars on that property uh she has 
we're the ones paying the mortgage. We're the ones paying the taxes. We're the ones doing everything for every fucking property that's involved in all of this. She gets jack fucking I say, shit. I was saying, he's going to be the one collecting the rent. Yeah. Uh, and I will be the one that goes and collects the fucking $500 every month, which will go to the mortgage. Yeah. Which you need to, that's that's where the lawyers are going to have to step in and you're going to have to straighten that out because you know he's going to have to, he's going to try and kite that right out of your freaking pocket. Oh, I know. Um. You just be like, well, it's my buddy. Well, so the fuck what? It's not your property. Oh, shit. Go off. Eat something. Oh god, I barely got something down. <laughs> oh yeah. What's up, fucker? God, I hate you guys. So I'm I'm running away with a storage crate. Yeah. Yeah, you got the fast one chasing you, so that's a smart move. Um. But, uh. Yeah, so I dealt with that for the next two hours. I don't. Dude, I, I was literally losing my shit. Uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I can only imagine how you were acting that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Marauder's Arch, by the way. Well, we got some. We've got a rental on this island, but I just died to the fucking crawlers because, you know. Dude, you barely Don't got me. Bitch. So, I didn't come home. Uh, uh, when I say home, I come back to my place finally. And that's the... Um, that wonderful, like, dear fucking Jesus, I finally made it home at, like, 3.30, 4 o'clock. That's when you called me, and you were like, fucking Christ. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so then it was a matter of spend time with the girl, eat food, uh... Take a shower because I was covered in dandruff and all this other shit that like yeah um <clears throat> and I I don't know if my girl is still up and it, it makes her gag about certain things but like it was nasty what came out of my uh, nasal passages trying to clear them but uh yeah so uh that has been my monday so good times good times Dude, I got more fucking people on my ass. Can you read the next riddle to me? Indeed. The castaway's camp to the east beckons its plight. It's quite a sight. No, 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 the next Dude. part. For the rugged uh, rowboat okay. on the shores of the East Bay. Onward spurred, where joyful music should be heard. Okay. 
On the wrecked railroad on the shores of the East Bay. Prove your worth. Stride north to the palm tree. Are you ready to break the earth? Okay, it's over here, like, next to what's-her-name. Uh, I am being, like, fucking harassed horribly. This island is excessively large, so I think we need it. Fucking crawlers. Yeah. Not only that, like, I, I have, uh... Pineapple, pineapple. Eat it! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that I just had four crawlers come up on me. Including a big boy. Down. Have you seen a crate in this one? I don't know. I really need to have a crate. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Fuck, where are you? Jesus Christ. Stride north to the palm tree. Break ground, okay. Found it. Yeah, but I got a I got two chests over here, so I need you to come grab one. <laughs> got the green bitch following me. Nice. Fucker. So. Can't believe it took three hits for it to die. Oh, pretty. I mean, I didn't say it was a good chest, I just said it was a chest. <laughs> we still have the fucking blue guy, though. Heads up. Just run. I mean, I have full health, so. I'm okay. There's ammo right there. I'm about to hit the water, so I don't care. Oh. Yeah, I did the same what? thing. Oh god damn it! Oh, god damn it. Fuck! What the shit, I'm out. I also got bit by a snake on the way. Oh, that's why it didn't bite me. Oh! Okay. And we even see the X. We're good. What is in the water there? Oh, it's a snake. So yeah, that's my Monday. So, uh, going back, Saturday, hockey was like blah because it was 10 year olds. Nothing big happened, nothing, nothing to talk about, period. Sunday, um, more of the same, like, it was blah hockey, except the very last game has, like, some highlight moments. Um... The team colors are orange and red. They are the 
uh, pumpkin heads and the slash pandas. Okay. Um. The um. The game's pretty. Like I said, it, it was a meh game. Nothing major happened. I had one of the slash pandas like get pissy because he left his feet and tripped up a guy. And uh, he told it like he wanted it, he he came up to me after he did the trip and I you know gave him the call. And he does this. Uh, well, do you mind if I ask you what uh, the call is for? And I said tripping. Uh, where? When you left your feet, if you leave your feet and you take out somebody else's feet, it's tripping. But I hit the puck! Uh, it doesn't fucking matter. And then he starts just yeah. berating me. As I'm trying to tell you, it doesn't matter if you hit the puck. Like, if you take out a person while you're not on your feet, the rule states you go in the box. Um... His teammates all knew who I was, and his teammates all went, shut your mouth, it's Boomer, get in the fucking box. <laughs> Before you get another penalty. Which I was sad, because I didn't get to uh, throw a guy out for being an ass at. Um, because I always love doing that. But, uh, third period. The pumpkin heads are ahead, uh, five to three. So they got two point lead. Two minutes left in the third. And in beer league, they do run time except for the last three minutes if it's within two. So we're in stop time. Uh, the girl running the clock is not paying attention. It is past the three minute mark. She's not stopping the clock. I don't give a shit. I want the game to be over with. It's almost 11.30. I really want the game over with. Um, because I already know I have to get up in the morning and go to my parents. <laughs> you see where this goes. Um, the slash pandas get the puck and it's one of those fluke things that like they they shoot it down behind the net uh pumpkin heads gets it turns and he tries to pass in front of his net passes uh, directly to a slash panda they instantly put it in the net so now it's five four the clock is still running nobody said a word about the clock the clock has not stopped uh, they take the face off, uh, the Slash Pandas win the face off, dump it back to their defenseman, he skates through everyone, shoots, it hits the goaltender's stick, rolls up the stick, over the shoulder, and in the net. Shitty goal. Uh... Tie game. They... We drop the puck. This is when the pumpkin heads start bitching that the clock is running. And I'm like, you didn't say a word when you were ahead and the clock was running. But you want to say something now that it's top. I see how this goes. I don't care. We drop the puck again. <clears throat> Guy comes down the down the way. And out of the corner of my eye, I see something that happens. I'm not sure whether two people just ran into each other or if there's an actual penalty. My partner doesn't put my, his arm up and he's just behind me. Um, and he, he, so I just ignore it. But the pumpkin heads are upset over something. They're all turning at me and doing this like, hey, what's up? Motion. And they wait, they let a dude skate by with the puck 
and taking the shot at their goaltender. Again, scoring. Now they're down by one. Nice. Yeah. The goaltender is pissed. He changes sticks because he's blaming it on his stick for whatever fucking reason. And I also want to put this out there that neither of the goaltenders on in this game have stayed in their fucking net. If the puck was like anywhere in their vicinity and nobody else was near it, they would come out of their net and play the puck. Almost getting hit multiple times by other players doing this. So it goes to no surprise when we drop the puck, the Slash Pandas win it, they pass it back to a their defenseman. This time it's not a good defenseman. It is a girl who like barely can skate. She goes to pass the puck to the winger in front of her. He misses the pass. The puck is going so slow that I have taken one stride from the red line. And I am gliding beside the puck as it's going towards the net, slow as Christmas. The goaltender comes out like he's going to play the puck because nobody else, for some reason, has played the puck. I still don't know how the fuck it went through everybody's fucking feet and everything else because it is so slow and didn't leave the ice. The goaltender whiffs on playing the puck and it goes in the net. In the last two minutes of gameplay, you go from being ahead by two to losing by two. <laughs> I Goodness. really want to know what the fuck that goaltender was thinking. Uh, trying to just play the puck, like instantly shovel it. I, kn I know that like the time was running out, because there was only like 40 seconds on the clock when we dropped the puck the last time and it ran out completely afterwards. But, like, wouldn't you want to verify the fact that the puck is stopped on your stick before trying to shovel it? Yeah. Uh, especially if you're standing in front of your net. Uh, which gets to... There's a, there's a YouTuber I watch and he's part of... I think he's part of Sports Center or something like that. Like, Canadian Hockey Sports Center. And he does these things called Steve's Dangits. And it's like the top, like, bullshit things that happen in hockey. Bloopers most of the time. Uh, in the NHL for the week. And I came home to watch that. And sure enough, there's a bunch of goaltender dang it as he puts them as i said and he has a statement and i want this shirt um the statement that he always makes is if you're a goaltender tend goal because 90 percent of the time that the goaltenders are in the dang it videos they come out to play the puck they do something like severely stupid and a goal is scored upon them because of it and and as soon as it happened where the guy like tried to swat at the puck and he missed that that statement went through my head if you're a goaltender tend goal i was a goaltender when i played hockey i know that statement very well i had it yelled at me more than once <laughs> Except mine were always, they were yelling at me because I was coming out to, like, the top of the, the circles and, like, fucking clotheslining somebody <laughs> to keep them from having a breakaway. Or, or, I'd come out of the net to, like, beat the shit out of somebody because I was getting in a fight. But that's beside the point. <laughs> Dude, goalie fights are always the best. Dude, I was I was a dirty goalie fighter though. <laughs> I was the guy that didn't take the blocker off and would just beat the shit out of you while you <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
I was also the guy that got multiple roughing roughing penalties for taking the blocker and hitting them in the back of the head after they had slashed me. We're gonna get hit. Are we? Oof. Sells up. But yeah, so so that that has been my weekend. That's why I've been radio silent and everything else this week, <laughs> or this weekend, <laughs> is I have had like. Oh god damn it, we're doing that goddamn little dance. <laughs> um It's not the crab it's not the crab dab. It's almost just as bad. But um yeah, today today was just oh my god, how much bullshit they had. Dude, I would have been ready to like strangulate family members. Oh, dude, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm there. I'm so fucking there. Like there is. <laughs> well, we got a uh, rowboat. Say three headshots, there can't be much left. Oh, so how was your day? Yeah, it was work. <laughs> yeah, I wish it, I could just say, Oh, it was work because by God, that would have been a lot better than what I had. I bet, dude. Dude, I don't even... Yeah. So tomorrow I am going to work. Uh, yours was good, Nasagi. Call Corb a bitch for you. No problem. Corb, you're a bitch. It works. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You used to it. It is up here, right? Should be. Just that's what I'm getting from this. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's before the, uh... Hmm. Yeah, right. Why is it not... So it's somewhere over here. It. 
Why do we have an ocean crawler popping into everything once for the love of God? Fuck, it's a big go to. on the other side of the map. I like that one. It's said with so much love. Corbidos. Corbidos. No, I mean. Come here, fuckface. Stupid fucking bullshit. Stupid skellies. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I, I had a I had a productive awkward Monday that legit like had me ready to pull hair and brains out. Yeah, I bet. That and sounds like it sounds like Dane Bromage was definitely a part of the plan for that day. Oh, I know, dude. And and the thing is, like, I, I, I say all of this with, like, full love for my parents. Like, I absolutely love my parents, and, like, they've been wonderful to me and everything else. But, like, oh, dear God. You know? <laughs> That's why I, I'm, when I like moved up here to where I am now, like I've I've almost always lived like close to my family, like stupid close. Yeah. So like me moving the like forty minute to thirty minute drive away is like and owning said house and knowing that I will not be moving from here unless I come into some gratuitous amount of cash and own this house as a rental. Yeah. Like there there's no way, you know. But it's just one of those things where I it's nice for me and Kayla because we are smack dab between both my family and her family. Because her family is just north. So. I mean, that's good. But, but it's just like. The, the fact that, like. I, I'm used to being there for my family and all that. And just, being that go-to, so I, I understand that, but I, I'm glad that, like, your mom's gonna get the care that she needs and shit. Oh, no, and... it, dude, when, when we get off stream, I, I will give you, like, more detailed of, like, how that conversation went. I, I don't, like, it can, the... The thing he said, if taken out of context, can be sound like horrible. Oh no. Well, I mean, you know what I mean, like, you know, rehab. <coughs> yeah. I mean, rehab sounds bad too, but it's not rehab rehab, it's like, she, she legit, uh... Well, it's muscular rehab. Yeah. Like, it's occupational. I think it's considered occupational therapy. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that's the terminology for it. I think you're right. It's either it's, it's either that or physical therapy, but both kind of in the same thing. But um, 
But yeah, like, I mean, if your mom does that, where she doesn't even want to get up and do, like, normal daily functions, then, I mean, that's just not, that's not great. She's, she's gotta, she's gotta do it. I mean, that creates, what is, uh, what is that, atrophy? Yep. I, I mean, that just fucks up her whole body even more, I and mean, then... She, does, she, she definitely doesn't want to do anything. Well, that was the thing. My dad made the statement. He didn't really want to get a new bed, but she, like, basically was begging him for a new bed, saying that part of the reason that she doesn't want to get up and do anything is the bed's causing her back to hurt her and stuff like that, which could be a thing. It, can, it actually could be. But the big kicker is, is me and my dad both know that the reason that she, her back hurts her is not because the bed. It's because she doesn't get up already, and she's starting to get close to getting to the point where she starts getting bed sores. She hadn't hit that point yet, but, like, that's where it was going. And that's the, yeah. the, my back hurts. It's because you're in bed, uh, like, out of a 24-hour day, you're in bed probably, like, 18 hours. If, probably more. More like probably 20. And I know it sounds like I'm airing dirty laundry on screen. Um, these are all things... I don't mind talking about stuff like this from my of my family. For the factor of, like, it is something I've been... By the time that I'm ready to say something about this stuff... I've already compartmentalized it. Um, I've been living with my mother having, like, actual medical problems since I was 16. Uh, and it all stemmed, like, a lot of her medical problems stems from, at that time frame, she was working for a company. Uh, actually, she was working for a private school, and she was an art and English teacher at that school. And... They had just mopped the stairs and had not put out a sign saying that the stairs were slick and she fell down the stairs and it caused uh, spinal and brain damage. Uh, which has caused, like, other medical problems down the road. Um, we actually took the school to, uh, to a lawsuit and all this other stuff. Um, but... Like, ever since then, my mother's had these, like, issues where she has, like, it's almost like miniature strokes and a bunch of other things. So, like, her having, like, medical issues, it is just a, to me, it's like, what is the new thing? Um, and I know she's not faking any of her injuries or anything like that. But she definitely takes some of them further than they really need to go. And she just over exaggerates them? Yeah. Jim. Um. And that's, that's where, like, me and my sister have more than once been like, Mom, we can't tell whether, like, you're actually in, you know, you're actually having as much problems as you say you are, or you're, like, hamming it up. Because she will, more than once, like, if she's not getting her way, like, that's one of her temper tantrum type things, of, like, my kids don't love me, I'm in you know, I can't walk right now, and we're like, Mom, we know you can. You you were you were doing it yesterday. Um now now it's definitely one of those like she she had a couple of bad days or a couple of bad weeks in a row. And then like the ammonia buildup thing is like something that started like a year or two ago and it's just progressively getting worse. Um, and they are like, I can't remember, I think last year, 
around this time frame, they were doing blood transfusions to get the ammonia out of her system. Like, that's how bad it had gotten. Um, so her body's not flushing itself the way it should. Um, I'm waiting for them to, like, I don't know what kind of machine, whether it would be dialysis. Nasagi would maybe help me with that one, because he actually knows a little bit more about that type of stuff, whether it's dialysis or something else that would be what she would eventually go on. But there's probably some sort of thing like dialysis that, if she doesn't start taking care of herself properly, that they're going to end up hooking her up to Put her up to a colostomy bag. Uh, dialysis would probably help to filter toxins like ammonia out. Okay. That'd probably be her first. That'd probably be the first thing they try and do with her for a first. We'll try and avoid doing anything else since she avoids doing that. Yeah, that would be their first. That would probably be their first move is to to probably get her on a colostomy bag. Colostomy bag wouldn't be too bad either. I don't know. Uh, and that's coming from. So we found out. You don't know 100 percent if it worked. I don't know how much about ammonia buildup. So ammonia buildup is one of those weird ones. Uh, a lot of people like. A lot of people associate the smell of ammonia with the concept of, like, urine. So they would in anticipate, like, if you used, you know, go that way, there's your ammonia removal. No, actually, and this is one of those we found out uh, from, like, the doctors when she started having all these issues, that, like, you actually lose most of your ammonia through the other process, uh, doing the number two, the deuce. Um, and my mother has issues where she's not going like she should. Um, but that's like your number one ammonia removal in, because most people don't have that issue unless they're, they're having issues like that where they don't go to the restroom, uh, like they should. And then you start having an ammonia buildup. Well, hers is getting so bad that it's actually causing medical issues. Um, and those medical issues are ridiculous. The more the ammonia build up, the crazier it gets. Uh, you start getting dizzy. Uh, you lose all short-term memory. You, learn, you lose... Um, like... You, can't, you don't have a good train of thought. And when I say a good train of thought... My mother has more than once, like, she will start a sentence and stop in the middle of it, and she doesn't know where <laughs> she was going. <laughs> so. Uh, and that's, that's, like, that's happened to here recently more often, and that is due to, like, high amount of build-up. Um, so, like, like I said, I know for a fact, because when she goes to the doctors, they, they they straight up tell us, oh, her ammonia's at, like, this level. It should be at this level. And, like, when you hear the numbers, I can't remember, like, what kind of numbers it is, but it is one of those, like, oh, like, the normal person has an ammonia of, like, two. Her ammonia is like, 18. You know, it's something like that, where it's one of those, like, oh, that's... Yeah, that's a bigger number, a lot bigger number. Ooh. That's rough. Yeah. That's the reason I know, like, for a fact that, like, like, like I said, like, she does do, she does have her tantrums when she is feeling well of, like, trying to make us guilt trip us a little bit um, and also use it as, I'm sick, you should be better to me type things. Just a heads up, we might have about a two block away tail. Is it the sloop or the brig? It's the brig. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they have billows right now, so... They shouldn't. They're going at a slight angle.
but um, it, it it's it's I don't know. It's one of those awkward like, like I said, you you have to pick and choose your battles for dealing with stuff of people that have actual sicknesses like that, where they're, you can't tell that they are sick, but there's definitely yeah. something. I told you that they, like, when I was a kid, they literally gave me the option brain surgery or hope that it goes away. Ah! <laughs> and I'm like, no? I mean, brain surgery is always an option, but still, it doesn't mean it could fit. Like, they, 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 they never said it was 100%. Because you're just fucking with my nerve. Like, you're just fucking with my... The same fucking... Shit. You're fucking with my... You know, my neurons. Oh shit. We just had a galley spawn in front of us. Really? Nice. So... Yeah, so there's me, like... 15 fucking years old. Newly, newly found epileptic, and uh, they're telling me that I could decide to get brain surgery and hope that it just all goes away. But you know that once they open your skull up too, that fluid drains out, and then you lose like so much possibility like I would get vertigo faster I would you know, yeah I'm, I'm like no yeah and no. see that's that's the the you get vertigo faster <laughs> when when my mother had her spinal injury and the brain injury from falling down the stairs that's part of it so the ammonia buildup problem it hits her the dizziness part of ammonia buildup hits her like a hundred times worse because she already has that issue, like what you said. Um, so you can imagine it is the like the the not being able to just stand straight, uh, which does lead to her like wanting to stay in bed more often than she needs to. But anyways. This storm might be what saves us here. It might. Because that's the reason I went for it. I was like, you know what? I gotta go that way anyways because Crescent is closer to where the storm is. We're gonna hit it and like... Dude, the waves are fucking burying our shit. Like, we... Like, damn. The galley hasn't seen us yet. They might have a very slim chance of seeing us. Well, they might. They might also. The galley might also go after the brig because the galley would aim more for a brig than they would a sloop, in my opinion. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, if if you're competent galley players, you know that if the sloop goes into the wind, you are just fucked. <laughs> but the key word there is competent and we can we definitely know Sea of Thieves has a, a, their plethora of like dumbassery yeah, of incompetence still have a brig after us? I don't see it. <laughs> Raise your up. Anchor down.
once the storm is gone, we will uh, part from this uh, ship. Hope for the best. Uh, I'm gonna go onto the island and see if I uh, scout. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we need to like eat uh, grubs. That's one of our dailies. God damn it, skeletons. Like, I would love when I'm needing to scout and shit like that for the skellies to just leave me the fuck alone. You know? Yeah. your mouths. Okay, there's a ship going into the port next to us. Looks like it's the brig. Yeah, the brig is going into the uh, boat, the sea post. Or outpost. Sanctuary. Uh, no, that's uh, Golden Sands. Uh, okay, okay. Are they sell yeah. are they selling by it? Dude, I can barely make this out. Like it is so fucking Yeah, I can see it. I don't know where that galley went though. I don't either. Yeah, they just docked. Do you want to proceed? Um. Damn it. The water I hit was not deep enough. <laughs> Okay, I got rid of some of the glue on our ship. Okay. You got the totem? Yep. Hit it.
we go. I guess I see you. Oh, I thought I did. See the other one? I think it's in the center. Yeah, it's right here. On this, uh. No, on the uh, mast. On this side of the mast. Oh, I see it, I see it. Drop you it down. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck! Okay, crown, chain. I'm the chest sucker, dude. That one. Okay, as soon as we get back, I'm gonna check the uh, horizon again. You yeah. start pulling stuff up. I'm switching the pistol just in case. Oh, we need to get our anchor up. Oh shit, yeah, we yanked. Oof. I'll check the horizon. I'm going to. 
doing it. They're like, I'm doing it from the, the cave mouth. Because you get a little bit better view. Yeah. Uh, the brig is still over where it was. I don't see anything else. I'm checking the south of us. I couldn't see that from where I was. Okay. Yeah, it's the brig is the only thing nearby that's we should be good. It's you. By the way, I cancelled VRB. The what? I cancelled my VRB account. Really? Yeah, I barely used it. And, uh, they got rid of High Dive. Oh, did they? Yeah. So they got rid of, uh, one anime streaming service I actually enjoyed having on there, so. Okay. I was like, they're kind of, like, you know, they got rid of funny a few years back and all that, and I was like, okay, whatever, and now they got rid of another one, I'm like, okay, so now you're down to Crunchyroll. Congratulations. Which, it still kind of confuses me, because they all are owned by the same entity. Well, no, no. Funimation and Crunchyroll are owned by the same entity, but not Naya, not High Dive. Yeah. High Dive's independent. But they focus more on dubs. Do High Dive? Yeah, they do more like simul dubs and stuff, like dub casts. See, I don't like dubs. I think that's part of the reason I wasn't a big High Dive fan. Well, they were the ones that I watched, uh, they were the first ones to have Don Manchi. That's, that's, they were the ones I watched that on, and they had both versions, uh, the Japanese subtitle and the dub. Yeah. And that was before Crunchyroll had it available too. Okay, I'm gonna start harping some of this on. That's fine. Yeah, I've been just kind of grabbing it and taking it up this plethora of stairs. Yeah, that's normally what I do. So, having having the option not be the person doing that for the first time ever is like amazing. I figured. Oh, we did get a good bit out of this. Yeah, we did. Oh, hell. Again, how the hell? Hi, high, low. Hi, high, low. I see some of you playing on the keyboard now. I see no, every single one of them. Fucker! <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to like, avoid you. You know what? Whenever I get a better computer, you know, that, that, that can be taken care of. But uh, until then, you could do that on the PC. Or on the uh, Xbox. Yeah, that requires me, like, hooking up. I I'm very much a, like, uh, uh, wired person. Oh, like, no, I got you. I prefer a wired keyboard and mouse. I've always been that way. 
Um, Because I've attempted a couple of different wireless keyboard and mice throughout my time frame. And I always get upset with them. Always. Damn it, you shot the one I went for. What for those little fucking little trinkets, good god. Yeah, you hit every time. Every time, eh? Every time. <laughs> Not to give you shit. Oh, I know. Sanctuary, because of those dirks. That's what I'm, I'm going up to check to see if they're still over there. I don't see. Ooh. Go hop, uh, hop on the island and go over. I don't see them over there, but. <clears throat> Like, I don't know if they're going to come out of fucking left field on me. Rig sailing away eastward. Okay. East, northeast. We are in the clear. Yeah, but they got the wind with them to get back to us. Yeah, they do. Well, that's what I'm scared about. Uh... You're on up that coastline. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep an eye on that because they might be doing an about face. So far out of range now, it's hard to tell where their direction is. Uh, no, they're going. They're they're still going up the coastline. Coming this way. Grab the ancient chest. Go sell it at least.
Yeah, good luck on that island. That's about that big. If the cell isn't amazing, if the cell is not an hour long, it would be amazing. Downside to getting a fuck ton of loot. Oh shit, I just fell off. Oh, we should have laid down a, um... Yeah, we should have. Room is the point. Well, I think you can start selling the chests. Yeah, I figured keeping one would be okay. Because I'm down to like three or four trinkets left on the ship. Yeah, I think I have a chest up there for you, don't I? Uh, I don't know. Just is going all over there. I'm taking this one back up there. Waiting for an answer. Um. Sail. Because there's three pieces of loot up here.
Okay. Yo. Do sell our uh, ammo crate. I'll do it. Which one? The one in the back. Okay. They're gonna be nice and leave storage crates. Oh shit. What? Ashley key. Oh, good find. I totally forgot about that. That's a five of bullet pins. Where was that hiding? Pretty much where we used to hide flags. Oh, okay. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's sitting at the 5 million mark. I just went to check my renown and I was like, oh yeah. Uh, don't forget to eat grubs if you haven't already, buddy. I did. I have not. I want the extra money. Play through 98. Nice. Gone up two today, so one more day and we should be uh, all finished up. 3,000 gold! I didn't grow up from the, from the grubs though, it was weird. Uh, if you only eat one, you typically don't. Oh my gosh. Well, tomorrow, I got crap tons of work. And then Wednesday, I got crap tons of work. And then Thursday, I got to do something with the girl. And then Friday, and we also got D&D. &D. And then Friday is more crap tons of work. Um. What are you thinking, buddy? Yep. Tomorrow, if I can get on early enough, I'm hoping to, uh, I have a Tokyo Treat to unbox and a Loot Crate. It's been sitting here for a week now. And I've just been, like, in La La Land. I've not been getting on early enough because I've been wanting to spend more time with the girl and, like... When I wasn't trying to spend more time with the girl, we had fours and a couple of other games that we were playing, so... <laughs> nice, because it's that time of year, you know? Exactly. Some games, some games coming out and shit. Don't feel like we're just constrained to, like, fucking two or three games. Um, I definitely, like I stated uh, to you earlier, I definitely want to get back to, um... Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance soon. Be nice if we can get with Cal Cow or somebody else in with us. Dude. He'd be severely behind us at this point, but you know. There's no telling. Like, it's such a, like, crapshoot on that. I say, well, Cal Cow said he was interested in it, and then he never fucking played it. Yeah, see, that's the problem, is, like, there can be a bunch of people that are interested in playing something with us. Uh, as we have readily known with, uh, um, what is that game? Among Us. Where, where we had, you know, 
15 people that wanted to, uh... Yeah, I'll play, I'll play Among Us with you. Yeah, I'll play Among Us with you. And who shows up? Three people. Maybe four. And it was always the same fucking people. And I don't mind that it being the same people, but it is. It's the same, like... But that's the thing, is, like, it's me, you, and two others. Or th three others. And, well, yeah, yeah and you the can... same people that go, yeah, I'll be there, and then not show up for the same people. Yeah. Um... The, the other thing, though, for me about it was also that whole... Um... Among Us is best with almost a full lobby, 9 to 10 people. Alright, granted that lobby is now up to 15. Uh, oh God. Well, I hate to say it, like, big streamers that were playing it, they, they, were, they were having to, like, try to divvy up and they were having multiple games of, like, 10. Or they would have people on a waiting list because, like, oh, we have 12 that want to play. And it was like, how can we mix everybody in? Um, and I get the, like, let's up it to 15 to, like, make the bigger streamers that are helping us support this game better. But at the same time, for people like us, where, for whatever reason, we can't get people, and you can't just go into a random place without, like, the bullshittery, that makes it even harder of getting a full crew. But yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know what to say on all of that other than um, you know, whatever. So. But, Corb, as always, thank you uh, for coming and playing. Good time, my good sir. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, randomness of uh, today's uh, story time. Yeah, it was a fun fuster clock. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, We will be back tomorrow, probably with Halo, to be honest. Yeah, I was speaking <laughs> of which, I actually want to see what that menu looks like. Um, I'm about to start my download. So. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, uh, if you're watching this at home, you know what in the world to do. You know all that happy jazz that everybody else tells you what to do. And if you're new to the late night streams, we and all the late night streams for the page from Go the Fuck to Sleep. Tonight's page. Page number three. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. I'm Shinigami Tabris. I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, wherever you are. And until next time, everyone, peace.